Hey everyone, it's Miriam from Miriam's Nature. Since I had some paint left over from my last pour, I thought, you know what, I should try my very first swipe. Yes, yes, I've been playing with paint for a couple of months and I've never done a swipe. Because I'm a little bit of a chicken, I don't know why I've been putting it off. But there's just no excuse anymore. And I have this lovely paint left over, so I don't want to throw it away, so it seems the time is right. So let's do this. In case you didn't see the last video, this is all inexpensive craft paint. Um, I have a metallic copper, um, and the other colors are just stuff you can buy um, at craft stores, this kind of stuff. And my mix is always two parts paint to four to five parts Floetrol. And there's a little bit of silicone in each cup. And I chose this, these colors because I was inspired by, I, I'm a jeweler and I love working with copper. I like the colors that copper patinas and that's what these colors are. And I hope I have enough left to do this, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so I have never done one of these. I've only ever seen it done. So I'm going to start by, I guess, putting some stripes of color down. We are gonna wing this and see what happens. I'm all about winging things. <laughs> So if this turns out badly, no judgments, okay? Because I really don't exactly know what I'm doing. Like, for example, I don't even know if I'm supposed to fill in the entire canvas. I have no idea. Oh, and my substrate is a piece of Yupo paper. Um, it's sort of plastic paper, and I've sort of taped it to a piece of cardboard to make it stiff. And I'm going to swipe with white, by the way. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know how much you put. Well, I guess we'll see. That should be enough, because when you swipe, you kind of pull paint. So I'm guessing that's enough. Well, maybe a little copper up here, closer to the white. Okay. Then... Gonna load up this area with white to pull through. Okay, and I'm using a little piece of paper that I've cut to size, and I'm just gonna sort of let it sit in the white paint and just drag it across. Hey, okay. I think it worked. Well, there are definitely cells happening. Ooh, yay. There's this big little area here that, I don't know, that's odd looking. But, and over here too. Huh. So now I wonder if I should torch it or let it be. I'm going to let, let it be for a couple of minutes and then I will we'll come back and look at it and then decide if we're going to torch. Well, it's been a couple of minutes and the only thing that's really happened, I think, is that this screw and this screw. So I think that's silicone being that's pushing the paint away. Not much developed here. I might have put too much white, but I am going to torch and see if anything changes. Not really. Some tiny little cells developed there, but it was an interesting experiment. So this was my first swipe. I think that maybe 
one of these colors had too much silicone, which is why this is happening. That's my guess. And I think in the future, either I should press harder on the white and pull, or put less white. Well, just for giggles, I'm going to swipe one more time because we're just trying things out. Let's see what happens. So I have another piece of scrap paper and I'm going to press a little harder into the white this time. Okay. And then this time I'm going to torch right away. Oh, I like this better. The lacing here is so very pretty. Still nothing going on down there. But remember, this was there was a band of white paint here, and there's no silicone in the white, so and nothing for it to react to except the first band of color. But I would have to swipe again, I think, to get at that, and I'm not doing it this time. I'm gonna leave this alone. I think this is very pretty, so I'm gonna leave that alone and call that success. I'll take you down and see it up close. Here we are up close. It is really pretty. Here are the tiny cells that the torch brought up. For a first swipe, I can't complain. I am understanding the appeal of this and will likely have to do a ton of them. So I hope you'll subscribe. If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave comments about what colors you'd like to see, what colors you like to use. And thank you so much for watching. Go be creative now. Bye now.